This is the practice video for Gavat in C minor um, in the Camarada um, solo packet. Before we begin, key concept that you need to understand um, is when you are in a normal position and when you are in an extended position. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see my hand better. So of course the normal position is when between each of your fingers you have a half step. So there's first position, a normal position. Extended position is when you have a whole step between one and two, half step between two and three, and half step between two and four. So this would be like your, uh, anytime you have an extended four and extended second, that's your extended position. This extended concept applies to every position as well. And that's gonna make more sense when we go through to the middle of this. But for now, I'm gonna start at the beginning. Um, three flats. So lots of extensions, watch for E-flats. Can't play open A because there's A-flat. So here's the beginning. That eight measures happens tons and tons of times throughout this piece. So breaking it down, starting in an extension position, the first position, E flat, F natural. Then here I shift in the open string to second position. And this is a second position that is not extended. So my third finger is gonna go on the G string on C. That would make it easier for me to cross to A flat fourth finger. Here's my A flat fourth finger. Then G is third finger. F is first finger. Then I do a finger replacement in measure three. And then I'm back in first position. So here's that passage again from the second measure. That's where that um, shift belongs. And again, that's not an extended second position. It's a normal second position. Um, the same goes for measure six. Then this eight measures repeats itself. I'm going to play where it's different. Starting from pickup to 16. And I'll go a little bit slower here. I start in first position, and then on this A flat, I shift to first finger. This is a fourth position, but an extended fourth position. A normal fourth position here would be A flat, A natural, B flat, B natural. The fourth position that we've experienced the most of has been first finger on the target. But this is first finger back and extended, so I'm going to play first finger A flat. Extend, second fingers on B flat right above your target, and then reach forward, and you get C. So there's your A flat, B flat, C in this position. Okay, we do that so we don't have to cross the string, and, and we can't play open A anyway, so that's how this finger makes sense. So here's this passage again. Shift, reach, and then I go back on fourth finger to my first position. Um, going forward, second half of 18, I'm going to do this pizzicato first so you can hear the rhythm. The bowing is what makes this tricky because you change bows on the ands instead of on the numbers. One and two and three and four, some, somewhat like that. So here's that passage. Up, down, up, down. Going forward. And then stay in first.
first position, finger replacement to second position, and there you can either go back to second finger or play first finger and then back to first. Um, the rest of this is the same, then I'm going to go to where it's different. Um, 32, last two notes. And these sejuras, I would say that these sejuras are more like commas rather than like Appalachian Sunrise sejuras where you stop. Just think of it as like a break in the sound, um, still being able to play with a metronome. Okay, here is last two notes of 32. Breaking this part down, I start in first position, separate, slur, extended first position, now here in measure 35 there are two possible fingerings, there's the fingering that I just did which stays in first position, or the bottom fingering in parentheses goes this way. And then here you play fourth finger, and then you're in second position. Either one works. The advantage of this one is that you don't have to do the string crossings on open A. And then going forward, uh, last two notes of 36. I go to second position here. Then I finish the second position. Um, there are A naturals throughout this section, so here it is okay to play open A. Then the rest of it is just like the beginning. So there really is only three sections of this that kind of repeat back and forth. Once you get those three sections down, um, then you're great. This is an excellent solo choice. I'd like to see a lot of people uh, work on this one, uh, especially if you don't have one already picked out.